I hope that all of you are doing great. Well, we have already had uh, the three arrows capital collapse, Luna collapse, one of the biggest disaster FTX collapse, which further led for the Bitcoin to go down the drain, like $15.5,000. Now here we have another FUD ongoing and uh, we need to also figure out whether it is just a FUD or probably this is something of a concern. The KuCoin exchange is considered right now, like a lot of people are saying, get your money off the KuCoin. Why? Because they believe that probably it is in danger. There is a insolvency issue. Now here's the thing. First of all, uh, I mean, obviously the, the, the tweets, as you can see, like so many tweets are, are occurring, 147,000 tweets and stuff for the KuCoin, right? Now here's the thing. First of all, we need to be better safe than sorry. But at the same time, do we actually need, need to believe in every other FUD? Let's say there is a FUD, let's say there is a half, half a million people tweeting, okay, Binance is, might get insolvent, right? Uh, you just take your money off Binance. Would you be taking your money off Binance? Somebody says, okay, all the MetaMask is going to get hacked. Would you take all your money off from the MetaMask? The second point I would want to say is, uh, you need to actually see what is the reason that people are saying something like this. The reason for the KuCoin is simply one reason that they are offering 200 to 300% of APY, APR onto Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT. That is the only thing which is point of suspicion for the people. Let me tell you, if the FTX collapse would not have happened, I do not believe that uh, giving some some this sort of API would have been the reason to ask people to take their money off, right? Because the exchange is going to get insolvent because people have seen the unbelievable which happened with the FTX. Now, people are very scared. Even the slight bit of doubt is causing this sort of big fud to occur. And in fact, a lot of people are taking their money off the crypto exchange. Now, let me tell you, I'm not saying that you need to go out and support the crypto by uh, having the trust and putting your funds out there. The most important thing that we all need to understand anyways, even if the it is the biggest section, I'm not an affiliate for KuCoin, right? I mean, I never, I mean, I do not promote the KuCoin thing. I mean, I'm just an affiliate for the Binance. Why? Because that, that is the biggest and the best exchange. And uh, probably that is here to stay like as long as I mean it is it is one of the biggest so obviously that is the reason that is the only exchange I happen to promote and in fact we are even giving one full Bitcoin away anyone who signs up with our link so if you're planning to sign up to Binance click the link down below in the description the moment that you purchase one any cryptocurrency in on Binance after signing up with our link you will be part of the lucky draw that we are doing and not just once every time we complete a thousand referral one bitcoin giveaway and you will be qualified every time for the lucky drop but that's a separate thing like here i'm still talking like number one even on binance or even the best exchange even the hard wallet you should not keep more than 50 percent of your wealth at i mean 50 percent of your portfolio at a single place or even better the 40 percent so if you are having an entire net worth on KuCoin or even on Binance, I mean, you better start considering today itself to diversify, not more than 40% to 50% onto any particular exchange or storage device, probably even on the ledger. If you're trying to store, try to get two ledger, right? Try to get two private wallets, 40, 40. So that even in the worst case disaster, if let's say the entire Binance, entire your hard wallet, your private wallet, anything collapses, you're not losing your entire worth, right? You're losing 40%. I mean, we need to be covering the worst case scenario. I mean, you can never say about anything, right? But right now, this is not a good enough reason that an exchange is offering 300% APY, 200% APY. That means you take your money off the exchange. It is going to go insolvent. This is not good enough reason. The reason FTX collapsed because they were doing the leverage trading with the public's fund. So by default, if somebody would have made the price of the FTT token below a certain point, the entire funds would have gone, right? Alameda Research were actually using people's fund 
to do all this activity so it was illegal in itself so all the bet was that ftt token is not going to fall below a certain price but the moment anyone would know that okay there is a leverage going on the illegal leverage which is not supposed to happen obviously they are going to make the price fall below a certain point and after that the entire thing is going to get liquidated the entire funds of all the people got liquidated and here we are talking about the liquidity crisis yes liquidity crisis keeps on occurring during the bear market when the prices are falling so much it doesn't mean that you have to just go out there and withdraw your funds you are doing it in a hurry and i mean no i would not suggest that yes it is very easy to say that okay better save than be sorry right and then that's when probably let's say if 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 the exchange collapse everyone comes out as a hero okay we said it right guys we said it and let's say the exchange does not collapse then then also do those people come out and say that uh, okay guys i mean we just got you off then also they take the credit that okay we are trying to do the risk management better save than be sorry i mean but you cannot just fall for the farts here and there and just keep on withdrawing i mean if everybody starts withdrawing from the kucoin exchange are we trying to say that you are trying to kill the entire business i mean obviously if they are maintaining the proof of reserves even the last person will be given the withdrawal right unless until somebody is doing the leverage trading misusing funds like ftx then obviously there is a problem but this should not be the good enough reason i do not believe that a lot of like the influencers who are talking the big big influencers who are just talking okay just take your funds out because they are expecting maybe if even 5% chance or 1% chance something like this might happen then it is to our entire credit i mean that should not be the way the ftx was a different scenario anyone who got to know that there is a leverage trading involved there is a misuse of funds then you can i mean with a clear proof with a clear backing that's what you should say but before that you're not supposed to go out and act to the fud try to be rational just the way i'm talking right now that this is the exact reason why the entire fud is it doesn't matter how many people are tweeting people will follow the herd the people everyone is talking about the same thing there is no new proof regarding the respective thing so so that's what i will say yes the maximum amount that you keep is 40% and even better if you want to reduce and even if you want to take it off that's fine but we need to be into the practice that we need not just believe in every fud or just act on every other fud right that i mean we are the pioneers of this industry and uh, the people who are supporting it well we need to support them back right and obviously the risk management should be in place so guys what is your take on to this please write down in the comments below i would like to know what is your take on this what is your view point on this i would like to know and again if you have not subscribed to our channel please ensure that you hit the subscribe button this channel is everything about how do we grow your finances that's what the goal of this channel is to provide financial freedom to all of our subscribers thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, till then i'll see all of you guys in the next video bye bye opportunity of a lifetime to win one full bitcoin and not just for the one time in fact every time we have 1000 referral cross we will be doing the lucky draw and you will be qualified every time to participate for just doing one time task what is that one time task all you have to do is just sign up to binance exchange with our referral link the link is down below in the video description or you can even use the qr code that you see on the screen deposit hundred dollars and buy any crypto of your choice the crypto is yours the hundred dollars is yours that's it you're qualified for the rest of your life to keep on winning one bitcoin every time we reach a thousand referral all you have to do after that email to us your binance user id at the email abdullah at the rate abdullahzai.com every 1000 referral we will select one random user and you are qualified every time we cross 1000 referral 2000 referral 3000 referral that means you can even win, win 10 bitcoin so all you have to do again i'll repeat click the link down below in the description 
or the QR code, you will be landing up at the Binance sign up page. You click on sign up with phone or email or Google, whichever way you sign up, you deposit $100, you buy any crypto of your choice, and then just email your user ID to our email address. Where do you find your user ID? You This is your dashboard. You click on profile and you click on dashboard. The moment you click, you will find at the screen your user ID and you just have to email to us. All the best for your lucky draw.